Hey, welcome to STEM Stories with Mr. Ewing. Today we're going to read a book called Out of the Ballpark by Alex Rodriguez. Before I get started in a book, there's a few things I love to do. Is I kind of always look at the cover and kind of make a prediction of what I think the story might be about and whether it'd be interesting to me. The story, judging from the illustration, looks like it's about baseball. I'm going to say the title, Out of the Ballpark also leads me to believe that it's about baseball and if we know anything about baseball alex rodriguez's name may ring a bell so let's read our story today out of the ballpark by alex rodriguez baseball alex lived for it and it didn't much ma it didn't get much better than this his mom brother and sister were together in the stands for the first time all season today was the playoffs Alex wanted to make them proud. He really wanted to win his first championship. Crack! The batter hit a ground ball toward second base. Here it comes, Alex told himself. This will be an easy out. He crouched to, the field, to field the ball, just like he had done a thousand times before. The ball bounced between his legs. By the time the center fielder, center fielder scooped it up, the runner was safe at second. Alex looked up at his family in the stands. His best friend, J J.D., patted him on the back. Relax, said J.D. It's always good to have friends like J.D. Alex tried to calm down, but the harder he tried, the worse he played. I think I'm getting a record for errors and strikeouts in the same game, he told J.D., in the last inning. Good thing we're ahead. We have to win this game. Come on, Caribbees, Alex shouted to the team. One more out. Pop! The batter's fly ball sailed into J.D.'s glove. Yay, J.D., Alex yelled. We're going to the championship. Now, I want to pause real quick. I love this picture from the book because it really shows how excited the team was but it also shows that how important it is to be close with your teammates to be able to work together. That whole collaborative piece of a team really shows up in this picture or this illustration. But later that day, Alex couldn't help but think of all the mistakes he made. Hey, Joe, will you throw me some pitches? Alex asked his brother. Sure, slugger, Joe said. Joe's first pitches were high, but Alex swung at all of them anyway. Settle down, Joe said. Wait for a pitch you can hit. Pretty good advice. Alex knew Joe was right. He dug in and waited. When a good pitch came, he swung smoothly. Crack! Whoa, Joe said as he watched the ball soar. That would have been a pool shot. Alex laughed. Earlier in the season, he had hit a home run into the swimming pool beyond the Caribe's ballpark. Throw me another, Alex said. The next morning, Alex got out of bed before the sun came up. His clock read 5.02, but his body was ready to play ball. He dialed J.D.'s number. Wake up, Alex said. Let's go hit a few balls before school. Are you crazy? J.D. croaked, but Alex was already out the door. Have you ever been so excited about something that didn't matter what time it was or what else was going on in the world? You just had super hyper focus about that event. Pretty sure that's how Alex is feeling. You ever felt like that? Alex and JD hit, e hit each other fly balls and then line drives and then grounders. They're working hard. With every ball Alex fielded, he pictured, him, pictured himself playing a perfect championship game. His body tingled with excitement. All week long, Alex and the other Caribes practiced their hearts out. They ran faster, hit faster, and threw harder than ever before. Actually, hit further than ever before. Alex took extra batting practice and tried to be patient at the plate. But it was tough. Every time he swung in an impossible, impossible pitch, he remembered the playoffs game. He felt a little sick inside. What if I can't pull it together for the championship, he worried. 
That night, Alex finished his homework and thought about the big game. He threw a rubber ball against the wall and then caught it. Thump, catch, thump, catch, thump, catch. 500 times, Alex threw the ball against the wall. 500 times, he caught it. And every time he missed, he started over. At school on Monday, Mrs. Gonzalez caught Alex drawing a baseball diamond on the back of his reading assignment. In math class, he was more focused, acing a test that he had studied hard for. It was just what he needed. When the bell rang to let school out, he felt six feet tall. At the baseball field, J.D. cried, Look, your family's here. Wow, said Alex. They got off work. Now we really have to win. But the Carives trailed from the start. They were still down by two in the fourth when Alex lost a fly ball in the sun and missed it. The Stingrays scored another run. It was four to one and Alex's heart was pounding. At the bottom of the last inning, Alex came up to bat. The Caribes were still down four to one, but the bases were loaded. Now, before I keep going, do you know what it means when bases are loaded? If you don't, take some time and look up, do a search and see what it means in baseball when the bases are loaded. It might not mean what you think. I'll back to our story. It was now or never. Alex swung at the pick, pitch that was over his head. Well, that chime must mean something important's coming. Strike, called the umpire. Alex watched the, watched the second pitch go by. Strike, said the ump. Alex swung at the third pitch. He swung, he swung strong and level, and with everything he had, crack, roared the bat. Up, 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 the ball soared. Alex dropped his bat and ran, ran, ran. As he approached second base, he heard splash. Pool shot, Joe yelled from the stands. Alex's grand slam won the Caribes their very first championship. Yay, Alex yelled as he crossed home plate. He did it. He looked up in the stands and knew that he didn't get any better than this. That was an amazing story about hard work and dedication to your dreams. And you know, I like this part at the end of the book. Alex Rodriguez, Alex Rodriguez leaves or wrote a note to his readers. Hi, thank you for reading Out of the Ballpark. It's a fictional story, but it's based on things I actually did, like getting up at 5 a.m. to practice my baseball fundamentals. I have always been a hard worker, both on and off the field. That's a big part of how I got to the major leagues. I also studied hard, stayed away from drugs, and showed respect to my friends and elders. That's my recipe for success, but you can use it too. No matter what your dreams and goals, you can never go wrong if you give them all you've got. You know, after reading the story, I kind of did a little research and looked up a few things. And JD, back in the story, was actually a childhood friend of Alex's. You know, I love that how a, a story can spark a lot of imagination, but also a lot of questions. And if you're ever reading a story and it brings up questions, go out and do some searching and some researching. It's pretty amazing what you're going to find. Hope you enjoyed Out of the Ballpark by Alex Rodriguez.